Did you have, did LMCS, to your knowledge, have a standby diver on the 25th of um, the second, uh, well, 20, the 25th of February this year? Yeah, there's supposed to be two standby divers on the crew. I, I don't know who is there. They, they rotate position. Sometimes people are part of the active work in the chamber, and sometimes they're out. We kind of rotate people. So I don't know exactly who they were at the time of the incident, but we had two standby divers. And in addition to that, Mr. Farah himself is, of course, a certified diver, and he is not on the dive team. He's supervising. And um, Mr. Guerra, who we spoke about from the incident, is also a certified diver. Okay. So I'm, I probably got it wrong. I thought the two standby divers were Mr. Farah and Mr. Guerra. No, they were, they were just extra people to see how we have like, extra divers who were going to be on site. Mm. They were there to function in a, uh, well, far as a supervisory role and extra just to be knowledgeable about the job. And then we had standby divers who were part of the crew who have been suited up and ready to assist at a moment's notice. And you couldn't, you couldn't help us what the name of those two divers would be? No, they, were, rotate, yeah, they were rotated, so I'm not sure. Well, one of them was Kazimali, wasn't it? Well, so what? we've heard afterwards, yeah. At the time of the incident, he, he was the fifth man in the water. Yeah. He was supposed to be the standby diver. I think we've seen footage of him with a spanner in his hand going down into the, um, yeah. into the chamber to at pass the, the spanner to one of the people who was working. Yeah, at the time of the actual incident, he would have been it. But what I'm saying is that it kind of would be a position. Yes, but we know that he was one of the standby divers at the time. Yes. Yes, yes thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Commissioner, Mr. Ali. Could you tell me, in that second to last bullet point, uh, on-site supervision, somebody external assistance to be requested by on-site supervision. Who is that on-site supervision? That's LMCS or PARIA? LMCS, yeah. I see. So LMCS, in their, in their response strategies, have outlined that they would reach out to additional divers who may either be off-duty LMCS people or additional divers who are not employed by LMCS? Yes. Okay. To your knowledge, Mr. Ali, were there such divers who were on the scene on Friday night or Friday evening? Yes. The 22nd? Who yes. Somebody would have called out? Yes. The prominent names like, um, like Corey and Michael and so on are the ones that we call. Michael Kuban. Yeah. yeah. 